What are the three reasons that the news may not be your best source for real estate advice? Also, what's happening in the Winnipeg real estate market and what do you need to know if you're thinking of buying or selling going to September? In Winnipeg in August, we saw the average price increase 4.3% over last year, but a sales decrease of 26%. In condos, we saw sales decrease 33%, but prices increased 5.5%. The reason that the news may not be your best resource when it comes to real estate advice, number one, a lot of times they're talking about national housing data or even data out of the United States. And we know as real estate professionals, real estate is very local, not only from town to town or city to city, but also within the city, each community, as well as it can be condo building to condo building can make a big difference. Number two, the statistics can be misread. So if we look at August statistics, for instance, it shows sales being down approximately 33%. That doesn't mean though that prices are down or that the market is weak. It just means that there's less sales, which can actually mean there's more demand. Thirdly, the stats that they're looking at are past looking. As real estate professionals, we know what's going on right now in the market and what kind of demand we're seeing, if we're seeing bidding wars or not, or if we're seeing a depression on pricing. So working with a realtor who has history in the neighborhoods that you're looking in and knows what's happening and working it every day full time with lots of buyers and lots of sellers. So if you're thinking of buying or selling going into the fall, work closely with the realtor and they'll give you great advice on if now is a good time and what you need to do to get top value or make a great buy.